Hey everyone, this is Red Silvers, and welcome back to Let's Play Torrens Passage. So we are here in the third world. We just landed. We can kind of look, look around a bit. It's broken. I should have continued on down, but down to where? Looks like rain approaching. <laughs> I wonder if Boogle can be an umbrella. I think Boogle can be actually. Maybe, maybe not. So yeah, there's the crystal there. Maybe that's what I should do. Transport myself on down through that shard. Maybe that's what I should do. Transport myself on down through that shard. I wonder if that'll work. Of course. Why didn't I think of that before? I'll just use a little more of this Arresti powder and continue on down. Whoa! Or maybe not. What a fall. What the? Hey, stop that. Uh oh. Um. After the pergolins tie you securely to the ground, they bring by all their friends to stare at you. You do not harm them, mainly because you're a skeleton. Well, there's Beat's origin story. Um. Okay, so I have to, to click to scare Chase of away, I guess. Stop that! Let me go! Get away! Shoot! Wait! Don't be afraid. Hold still. There. On behalf of all pergolins everywhere, I would like to thank you, Giant, for saving the life of Fairmont. Oh, that's all right. Ow! Oh, hey, no, quit! No, the too loud! My ears Stop, Maria! Me. Uh, knock it off! Oh, sorry! I mean, uh, okay. You seem to be a kinder, gentler giant, not like some giants we know. I wonder if you could help us with a problem. But of course. You need some logs moved, uh, rocks realigned, villages trampled. Much worse. We recently captured another giant, but very different from you. This one will not cooperate at all. What can I do? Perhaps if you talked with it. Well, okay. But are you sure I'll be safe? Follow me. Alright, so we're in this world of tiny people like in Gulliver's Travels, which they gave away to us anyway. Let's go see what we can find. Oh no! No! It, it, it's okay. I won't hurt you. No! No! Well, you weren't. I guess you weren't supposed to know who that was from the. If, if you had the text not displaying, it wouldn't give you the name. But anyway, you can kind of guess. Hey, you're Lena, aren't you? I just came from your homeland. Uh, I met your mother and father. You did? Escarpa? My parents? Oh, how I wish I had listened to them. I wouldn't be in this mess. They told me to give you this. Oh, look. That is my dear sweet father and I. Oh, how I miss them. Maybe you are from Escarpa, but you're so tall. Who are you anyway? My name is Torin, but I'm not from Escarpa. I'm from the lands above. Torin of the lands above. Do you promise not to harm me? I swear. At present, I can think of nothing worse. All right then, quick, cut me loose. Well, um, hmm. Hurry before they stop you. Yeah, uh, I can't. I'll have to try to break each little thread, I suppose. 
Why? Use your knife. Well, that's just it. I didn't bring a knife. Some hero I am. Well, hold still. Here goes. Then I'll tell you a little secret. All this time, I've had a knife hidden in my boot, but they tied me up before I regained consciousness. All right, so we need to get in her boot here. Now, hold still. I wouldn't want to cut you. Oh, thank you, Torin. That was horrible. Here. Here's your locket. help you up. I do love the animation in this. Oh, wait. Look at your arms. You're bleeding. What? Oh, uh, I'm okay. I dropped a long ways through the trees before I landed on this soft loam. I must have, uh, you know, caught some branches on the way down. It's nothing. Nonsense. Come over here. I'm sure I heard a stream this way. Everyone in Escarpa said we should meet, but I never dared dream we really would. Everyone else was so short and hairy. I was always the ugly duckling. Too tall, too thin, hair only on top. But with you, I feel, I don't know, somehow normal. Oh, I think you're anything but normal. What? Torin? Well, huh? No, no, what I meant was uh, you're far above normal. You're you're beautiful, wonderful, perfect. Oh, Torin. But my parents must be worried sick. Well, yeah, they are. They really want you to return home. And my parents, they're still in danger. I must I go must back. go on. You're, you're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> but will I see you again? You must. Excuse me, you two. Will you be staying for dinner? If so, I'd better send out several hunting parties. No, we've got to leave immediately. We have to begin our search for a phenocryst. Oh, no need. I know right where one is, but it's pretty far away. What? I can't believe it. Does it work? Well, it might. You see, it hasn't been used in some time. Somehow, I could have guessed that. Let's go, Lena. Of course, when you're in a world where everybody's tiny a long way, isn't that hard to do at all. Attention, everyone. This is Torin and his friend Lena. Please give him your attention. They're all yours. But what do I do? Well, that's the problem. No one knows. The Phenocrist hasn't been used in generations. Legend has it that when the Ostiaries find perfect harmony, the worlds will open unto them. But even when wearing these ancient sacred robes, they cannot find the way themselves. Can you help them? Oh, boy. All right, so this is... We have to move them okay, around. Uh, you step into the center. So this might take a little and bit. And you uh, take his place. So you have to line them up in different ways. So I'm going to start by putting all the purple ones in a line here. Move over. Oh, this is going to take a minute, it looks like. <laughs> Watch 
Okay, I don't have to wait for one to move to get to the end. That that makes it a little easier. Okay, so I'm starting with all the purples here. Let's put the scarves together. We may still have to move them as we get this all figured out, but So we have purples here, we got scarves here. Uh, let's put you in here. You go there. So now we've got uh, the red sashes. So we need the sleeve the blue sleeves all together oh hurry lena jump up here and then the other one was the the hoods Okay, um... I bet that door hides a phenocryst. Those carvings must symbolize something. This one is like a musical one. Hmm. Four dots and a circle. Five concentric rings. I'm just gonna... Hmm. Four dots and a circle. I was like, hmm. so let's see here. We've got males and females. Let's group them up. I can waddle around a bit. Oh, so that was the first part of it. Okay, so this is the musical puzzle. Put you down. Oh! This is... <laughs> this is different. They move around so erratically. Um, I'm trying to get this one over. No. <laughs> like, they all line up in a different way. Like, I want these two to get swapped. But I want this one over here. Like, it's tricky because I can't just move them like I could move them before. No.
this is going to be the puzzle that's going to take all all night. See, I want this one and this one to switch places. I'm going to end up having to write this down, aren't I? And I haven't even messed with the guys yet. So I'm going to dig out a piece of paper. And we're going to start writing down what each one does. <laughs> okay. So the first one moves to three and five. The second moves one and five. third moves two and four. Four moves one and two. And five moves three and four. So right now... I want to move the one that's in five into two. So what I need to do is move one in five, and then move one in two. Uh, Did I write this down wrong? I was not expecting this to be the the hardest part. Okay, I want to move. Or is it the notes? Hang on a second. It's the... So it's not the position that's moving, it's the which two that they move. Okay. So in that case, starting my notes over. Okay, so this is the lowest one. And it moves two and three. Okay, this is the next lowest one. And it moves three and four. Okay, that one moves four and five. That one moves five and one. And then that one moves one and two. Okay. Okay, so... Now, I want to get this one to move to where five is. This one is fine. I want to leave this first one where it is. So, you'll swap those two. Hang on. There, they're in a line.
Okay. So we're gonna have to do the. Ah, that's it. The pattern was five ascending notes leading to the second nested planet. So that phenacrist goes back to a scarpa. You figured that out really easily, Torin. After I did all the hard work, you were just like, "Oh, that that goes there." So you gotta do the same thing with the guys here. So I'm gonna have to have my notes again. The only difference is this time we're going high to low. So it looks like this is the lowest one. Let's see what. Let's put this down. So this looks like the lowest one. Uh, uh, and the lowest one moves the highest two. It might be the same uh, layout, actually. So you're the next one. Uh, yeah, you're moving the highest. You're moving the highest and the lowest. So it's the same setup. So I just need to to think about this for a moment. So I want you in the first position. You're the highest. You're going to move him there. And then, no. You'll move him, but so will you. There we go. I don't know. I knew you could do it. You did? But now what? Oh, this part I know. Stand over here. I'll throw enough of this powder for both of us, and off we'll go. Don't forget me, Torin. I couldn't, Lena. Be careful. This licentia sounds dangerous. I will. Now, close your eyes. They are closed. Save enough powder for a trip to Escarpa. I promise. I'll see you soon, Lena. Somehow. Goodbye, Torin. And goodbye, Boogle. That was a short chapter. I always felt you were innocent. Kurtzwell needed a scapegoat. All these years away from your home, your family, your friends, you must be so bitter. Perhaps I've learned to use the darkness to get what I want. I've heard you've become quite the powerful sorceress. Oh? But not quite powerful enough to overcome the magic of that color. Not yet, but perhaps soon. And when I do, I promise revenge. But what if you could return sooner? What? Ha! Huh. The color will not be denied. I could release it for you. <laughs> oh, Beckett. You know its spell can only be broken by royalty. And no matter how much you scheme, you'll never be king as long as the boy lives. Yes, but think, Lysentia. Who sealed the collar? Kurtzwell. That... <sighs> Wait. Are you suggesting you could become Arch Authority? Let's just say if you'll do a small favor for me, I'll do a large favor for you. And just what would that small favor be? Nothing much, just a little magic spell. Better at this. 
didn't get crashed into a building this time. So, I didn't remember that last world being no, so short. I refuse to go back. I must find my parents. But I guess they had the puzzle there that was going to be kind of hard to puzzle out. I mean, I had to resort to pulling out paper just to solve it here. But I like that they introduced Lena in that chapter. But first she had all the build-up, like all of the second world was talking about Lena and everybody insinuating that she was unattractive but had this great personality because she looks like Torin. So I thought that was a nice touch. But if I remember, this is the world that has the puzzle that's terrible. So that's something to look into next time. But as always, until next time, this has been Red Silvers. Have a good night.